paleontology cut of a stegosaurus mount at the Science Museum of Minnesota in St. Paul. It, this one is missing its gular armor. That tells you it's a bit older mount. And those plates on its back are spectacular. One wonders, since they were covered in keratin and have lots of arterial grooves, could they flood blood up in there and either thermoregulate or even change colors of their plates to display their mood or intention? Stegosaurs are built so the back end is way up high off the ground so that a long eight snout can really get low into the ferns and cycads that those tiny little teeth were munching on. The thagomizer, are the business end with those four spikes is absolutely stunning. And those two would have been covered in a keratinous sheath, making them even longer and sharper. The tail has chevrons all the way to the end, which means that this tail was extremely powerful and useful. So there you have it, Stegosaurus.